action. Um, so, 10K, how was their journey here? Um, I just woke up to a notification that I now have 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. You gotta celebrate the small milestones in life too, and YouTube told me that I should throw myself a party, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So yeah, I'm just gonna get together with some friends at my chiropractic studio, which is a very beautiful space. They've been so gracious to let us celebrate there. I'm just gonna pop a few bottles and have some cake, and it's gonna be real fun. It's funny because not all my friends Friends are you know fans of my channel or like watch my videos or even are subscribed so I'm looking forward to kind of getting their reaction to this because to me I'm just me not like a YouTube person like most of them haven't even watched my videos so that'll be fun so are you subscribed to my channel I think so yes are you yet subscribed to my channel no I am yay and have you seen any of my videos before I've seen a few which one of my videos is your favorite? Oh god, I don't know. <laughs> did you really watch them or did you just say you watched them? I say I watched them. That's okay. <laughs> when I first started making videos, I had to overcome some fears. And this is something that every YouTuber has to overcome, especially if they're on camera showing their face using their voice in videos. You have to overcome two fears. And one of them is the fear of seeing yourself and hearing your own voice on camera. And the other one is the fear of your friends and family seeing you on camera because you might be thinking that they're gonna think it's stupid. And the reality is, is that some people are gonna think you're stupid. They're gonna think that it's cringy what you're doing, putting yourself out there. But the reality is, is like 10% of people might be supporting you. 10% of people might think you look like an idiot and then 80% of the people actually just don't care and are worried about themselves. So um, there's really no need to focus on what other people think. And the point is I got to 10,000 subscribers without you know, knowing that many people. These people don't know me personally. So it doesn't really matter what your friends or family thinks and you will always get used to seeing yourself and hearing your own voice on camera. You just have to keep doing it. There were a few times that I recorded a video and I didn't post the the video that I recorded because I didn't like that my hair was like sticking up weird or something and I just like didn't post the video at all so that's like kind of an extreme example of when it gets to you but most of the time when you've put in the work of like setting up a shoot trying to get yourself to look as best as you can and filming everything like you just have to tell yourself this is gonna be the video and this is just how I look so you kind of just get over that fear of like seeing yourself and hearing like the cringiness of hearing your own voice like trust me you get over it but definitely all in all i had a very amazing support group with my friends and family so are you subscribed to my channel i am subscribed to your channel i know you are you are one of my most supportive subscribers so that was a rhetorical question you know that i know that you are <laughs> when i first started out i did like a big like message to everyone asking if they would support my channel like my close friends my close family and watch my videos and leave comments and engage with the videos and special shout outs to my mom and Claire and Lois. I just really appreciate the support and the engagement because in the beginning that kind of stuff really makes all the difference. So I thank you guys for that. Which one of my videos is your favorite that you've seen? Um, the one with the Wi-Fi code. Turning the Wi-Fi code into a QR code. Turning the Wi-Fi password into a QR code. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I've had that QR code in our house for a while. Amazing. Everyone watch that video. It's a good hack. Bottom line is never let the fear of other people's opinions stop you from doing literally anything in life. Like, most people don't care. Some people are going to be impressed by you. Some people are going to think you are stupid no matter what you're doing. So. It doesn't really matter. I started taking my channel more seriously back in 2020. And now two years later, I have made so many different fun videos. My channel has been monetized for over a year. That does bring in consistent revenue, whether I post new videos or not, which is really cool. So if you like making videos, I actually really recommend starting your own channel as a passive income generator. 
Um, it's kind of passive and kind of not. I've talked about this in previous videos. I heard someone once say that YouTube is the hardest way to make easy money and that could not be more true. But more than that, the best part about YouTube is that it is a place for you to build a platform and build your audience. And that is something I really wish I'd started doing a long time ago because being able to engage with other like-minded people and entrepreneurs and travelers is really just such a blessing. If you were to start your own YouTube channel, what would it be about? Uh, perhaps the reverbs that I'm doing in my apartment right now. That's a really good idea. You're doing a lot of DIY renovations. That would be very good. It would be about travel. <laughs> oh yeah, that would be great. Well, I, I technically started one. I just haven't put any videos up inspired by you. I want to make one about turning like trash that I find onto the street into cool upcycled furniture. That's a good idea. Upcycling DIY stuff does very well on YouTube. You should do it. Yeah, so, so you've told me many times. <laughs> you have a channel, so I can't ask you that question. What is your channel then anyway? It started off as music covers, it, then it merged into makeup tutorials, and then it merged into van life, because I did a van build as well, and now it's gone back to music. <laughs> so it's a bit of everything to be honest, but I'm focusing it more on like music and lifestyle. Go and subscribe to her channel. I will link it in the description. I love getting sweet DMs from people that say things like, you inspired me to start this business or make this business card or move abroad. And those things really make my day. So I'm so grateful that I've built this community and I can engage in these conversations, but I really want to do better moving forward. Celebrating the number of subscribers that I have is fun, but it's more of a symbolic number and it doesn't really reflect any valuable success metric on YouTube or even personally to me. What matters most to me is the quality of the content that I'm putting out. And frankly, I haven't really been too impressed with the quality that I've been putting out lately. When I moved into my new apartment, I created a video studio in my guest room and I did it so that I could record in front of a green screen so that I could have a really simple educational video style. But what I found is that the environment doesn't, it looks really fake and it doesn't really feel engaging to me. And honestly, I just think it looks kind of boring to watch. And I think that you guys agree because I've definitely seen my viewership and viewer retention numbers take a dip. I've also been a lot less active on posting lately. I have a lot of different skills and hobbies that I could put on YouTube. I also live a pretty like abnormal life because I'm enjoying my 20s in Barcelona, which is one of the coolest cities in the world. And so it really makes me wonder like, what is the best thing that I could put in my YouTube videos? Something that people would be interested in watching, but would also teach them something of value because by nature I am a teacher, but I've been really struggling to make teaching entertaining and engaging and that's been my challenge. And what video do you think I should make next? I think since you're orientating around like business and productivity, how to make like actually making lists okay. and like making them look pretty and okay. stuff like because you obviously got a graphic design background. So I think something around that. I would like you to make a video that teaches me how to make the bread that you brought to Emily's bread making videos. Let me know in the comments if you want to see my bread recipe. <laughs> Having a business and a YouTube channel is all about troubleshooting and self-correcting and pivoting to give the people what the people want and what they deserve. And you guys deserve better videos. So moving forward, you're gonna see a different style on my channel that takes place in the real world, is more engaging, and a little bit more focused on entertainment in addition to education. I'm going to be delivering information on how to brand your business to stand out in a way that's really fun and engaging and dynamic. And while applying a lot of what I'm going to be saying is stuff that's done on the computer, I really wanna demonstrate how the work that you do on the computer actually Actually translates into real life. So I'm really excited for this shift in my content and I hope that you guys enjoy it too. People subscribe to channels for so many different reasons. Maybe you're here because you saw my bus video back a couple years ago. Maybe you liked the virtual business card tutorial. Maybe you liked the Wix series. But whatever reason you decided to subscribe to my channel, I hope it's because you liked my energy and you in general feel that there's something I can teach you. Obviously, I'm always going to be learning myself and I love being fully transparent about everything I'm learning on this journey and sharing that with you guys here on YouTube. So I hope that you look forward to this new shift in my content and it's all for the best. Um, 
Um, so, 10K, how was their journey here? Um, it was faster than I expected. When I started making videos in the lockdown, it was honestly just to pass the time. And so I didn't really think that I couldn't compute how 10,000 people would actually hit the button. But thank you guys. And what is your favorite video? Ooh, that's a tough one. I think my favorite video is the vlog in India because I just get so happy seeing the videos from that trip. They're just so colorful and you don't have to try hard to make India look beautiful. So it has nothing to do with the niche that I've started making videos in, but it's still my favorite video. Nice. And what is something that if someone wants to start a YouTube channel right now that you recommend them to do or think about? Just look at what other videos are performing well on YouTube and then put your own creative spin on it because everyone has a different, different voice, different face, and no one's going to do it like you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. <laughs> if you're not subscribed yet, subscribe. Thank you. Well, that was so much fun. Happy 10,000 subscriber day to me and thank you guys all so much for hitting that subscribe button. I really hope that you like the videos that I'm working on coming out with for you guys and if you haven't subscribed yet then you know what to do. <laughs>